In this lesson, we're going to look at a story problem that involves the concept of average. Uh, so first of all, you know, what is average? Um, you want to take the average of a set of numbers. In some sense, you're kind of finding the center of that set of numbers. Um, you know, like if I give a test in one of my classes, I might compute the average just to kind of figure out, um, as an entire class, how did the class do? And so the way we actually compute an average is to add up all the numbers in the set and then divide by how many of them there are. And so let's put that into practice in this story problem here. It says the high temperatures for the first five days of January in Fargo, North Dakota were negative 4, 3, 0, negative 6, and 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the average high temperature over these five days. So we need to add these up, so we'll show that first. And I know it's kind of silly, but I'm going to put plus zero here, and I'll tell you why in a second. So I have all those added up, and then I'm going to divide by how many of them there are. And so the reason I put zero here, even though I know it's not really doing anything, is because uh, I don't want to leave it off and then accidentally put 4 down here because I think there's only 4 values. Even though this is 0, it counts as a value, and so I need to divide by 5. Now we can go through and start adding. Um, we have negative 4 plus 3 over there on the left, and since the signs are different, different, we subtract. And the negative wins because it's on the 4, which is a larger absolute value. So I have negative 1 at this point, it's safe to drop my 0 plus negative 6 plus 2. And that's all still divided by 5. And now I can add negative 1 plus negative 6. 1 plus 6 is 7, and since they're both negative, that should be a negative 7. And then negative 7 plus 2, I just need to subtract my absolute values there. So I get 5. But of course, since the negative's on the bigger absolute value, that's negative 5. And I know that negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. And so, of course, this is an application problem, so we label it. So the average is negative 1 degree Fahrenheit. So this kind of gives us a summary of what's going on in these first five days of January, uh, in that, on average, the temperature's about one degree below zero.